Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Nora to explain here, bringing you guys another Boards of Naruto and Extra Race discussion. And today, I want to discuss something from Boards of Chapter 75 that caused one of my patrons to send me a DM immediately after the chapter dropped for me to do another Boruto fan theory, which is discuss the potential possibility of Boruto actually being the one who takes control from Momoshiki. And according to them, there might actually be foreshadowing for this taking place. Now, you guys know where I stand on the Boruto Momoshiki relationship. I'm not a huge fan of these two becoming best buddies and working together, even though the folklore that is associated with Momoshiki, i.e. the Momotaro Peach Boy folklore stories, those definitely point in the direction of Boruto and Momoshiki teaming up together. However, this fan theory might have some teeth to it, and this could be a fan theory that we look back on in the months or maybe even years to come and say this one theory might have actually cracked Boruto. So what I'll do now is I'll place the screenshot on the screen since I know a few of you guys have openly wondered or suggested that I'm lying about getting fan theories sent to me. So I'm going to break my anonymous rule for the people in the back who want to call in to question my credibility. According to the person that sent me this, they proposed that Boruto, due to realizing Momoshiki's mind was linked to his own, Boruto took the opportunity to see for himself what he meant when he told Boruto that he would lose everything. The idea is that Boruto might take control of Momoshiki using his Jogon eye in a similar way that he signed that summoning contract with Garga way back in the Miski Desertion arc. Now, I'll say this right here. This, I do think, has some parts of it that lend itself to actually be impossible. In particular, Boruto wrestling back control from Momoshiki. I do think we're in for something right there. I think each of us, or rather a majority of us, would agree that Boruto, being the genius that he is, realize our minds, they're linked. So I should be able to see what Momoshiki sees when he looks into the future and Boruto decided to open up Pandora's box by seeing what Momoshiki's powers of future sight could actually reveal to him. After Boruto saw the manhunt that was taking place and Kawaki versus Sarda and Miski, Boruto was drawn, looking utterly terrified by the things that he saw, enough so that even Ada took notice of it. This is important to take note of because Momoshiki has been playing numerous mind games with Boruto up to this point, doing small things intentionally to wear down Boruto's state of mind. And all this is in order to prepare for the moment where Boruto gives back up control. He warned him to his face that that time was coming soon and that even Boruto dying did not compare to what was going to happen after he revived Boruto from death. He then appeared outside of Boruto's home after Boruto comforted his mother Hinata, warning Boruto not to make promises that he can't keep and even going so far as to say that when the time came for Boruto to lose everything, which was apparently soon, Boruto would fall into despair to such a point that he willingly gave up control to Momoshiki and Momoshiki would shove him into that distant corner of his own mind. Well, the idea of Boruto taking back control and putting Momoshiki into a corner it isn't as crazy as one might think. In fact, the manga has already foreshadowed that this might be the case, as has the Boruto anime in an arc earlier this year. When Momoshiki heard Boruto's claims, his first response back was telling him to shut up and that Boruto would be the one who pushed Momoshiki into the corner of his mind. And one thing we do know about Boruto is that he does have that stubborn streak that Naruto inherited from Kashina. However, in the anime, we had a similar situation going on where Himawari's academy teacher, Hana, had a split personality that shoved her into the corner of her own mind, keeping her locked away in chains while the assassin personality carried out the duties that it needed to unhinder. When we got this information, one of the things I said was that this felt like it might be a predecent for Boruto's situation with Momoshiki, and, and I brought up the fact that mental energy in Naruto is something we've seen have positive and negative impacts on characters. Case in point, we've seen Naruto's fighting spirit get renewed when he said that he was going to be the Hokage, giving Naruto a brief mental amp, and he pushes through whatever limit he has. And we've seen Minato's stats absolutely nosedive upon learning that Obito was the one who attacked Konoha. A strengthened mind and spirit played a role in Hana regaining control, especially when she was fighting for the resolve 
in order to get back to her students and I always assumed that it'll be something similar with Boruto. He lose control because the spiritual portion of his chakra is being messed up by the despair he felt and he regain it once his resolve strengthened which by extension strengthens the spiritual energy itself. However, this idea that the pure eye, also known as the Jogon, being used in the same way that it was used when Boruto made the connection with Garga is something that I think narratively is something that can actually work. As we were told back in 2017 by one of the lead animators of Boruto, there's a lot that was not known at the time about the markings on Boruto, which we now know were the Karma Seal, and the eye, which we also know is called the Jogon, to the point where even though the manga was ahead of the anime at that point in time by a whole year, there wasn't a clear cut plan yet. However, using this eye as a way to either suppress Momoshiki's influence or push Momoshiki into a corner of Boruto's mind while allowing him to tap into Momoshiki's power without worrying about Momoshiki taking control is something that can work simply because we know that the eyes has ties to the greater Otsuski clan and might even be potentially divine jutsu since it's an eye that is feared by the Otsuski and is an ancient power for the clan itself. It can also work narratively because it solves the Momoshiki problem, similar to Minato using the seal on the Nine Tails to contain the Nine Tails inside of Naruto while over time allowing the chakra from the Nine Tails to be mixed into Naruto's chakra and adding to his chakra pool. The Jogon being used in this manner is something that really works, but the one thing I wonder about is if this is the case, wouldn't that mean that the eye needs to be cut on at all times to suppress Momoshiki? And if that's the case, does that mean the eye can never be shut off? This could be the reason why Boruto kept his eye closed for a time when he was fighting against Kawaki in the flash forward sequence. It also works narratively because we know based off of the folklore, Momoshiki and Boruto are probably going to work together at some point in time. It won't be if, but rather it's going to be a win. It's not a rehash of the Naruto and Kurama story per se, though that's a knee-jerk reaction to any suggestion about this. In the folklore, Momotaro joined up with allies to fight against ogres who attacked his village, and he and his allies were able to push the ogres back. In Boruto, when the pair of Momoshiki and Kenshiki were originally introduced to us in 2015, in the official movie novelization, they were referred to as ogres, which is why Fuse Momoshiki's appearance that Masashi Kishimoto created had that ogre-like appearance to it. It was an homage to the folklore itself. The clan were referred to as a clan of ogres at that point in time. There's a lot we don't know about Momoshiki, but one thing we do know is that Momoshiki, like Kaguya, they have folklore that paints them as people who had issues with other beings, with Kaguya being a princess in one version of the story who grew to love humans and was sent to Earth in order to hide out until a civil war in the moon ended. And now you have Momoshiki. His lines about not allowing anything to happen to Boruto, they're absolutely huge. That also includes being fed to the Ten Tails. He won't allow that to happen. I think you could justify shutting down Momoshiki via the Jogon and using that power to learn more about Momoshiki by connecting since chakra can connect memories and emotions until Momoshiki willingly works alongside Boruto. That being said, this idea that Boruto will control Momoshiki, I think there's something here to this. I think there's actually some meat to this. And like a lot of fan theories I get sent, this one's going to require a little bit more going the right way. I think some of the stuff we laid out might have to happen, but I do think there is something here that can get us to that point. My question to you guys is, how would you like it if the Jogon was used to wrestle control away from Momoshiki? While well, you think that over, click here to watch my Chainsaw Man video on Kryptonian Saiyan and click here for this Naruto Explained video.